Welcome to News Talk and Liz Bronchin Cartagena with K-State Research and Extension. Thank you for being here. This is an important topic. Yes. Budgeting for the holidays. So many people are going to go into credit card debt, but you can help yourself right now if yeah. you do it right now. We are at four months away from uh, Christmas. So it's kind of like uh, a time that you can do so many things toward Christmas. Um, one of the big expenses are uh, food. We like to yeah. eat, and if you're Hispanic, we eat double. <laughs> <laughs> but then the other one is the gifts. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, so we have to plan for those things. So it is kind of like um, something that you can use different ideas to just tackle those things that if you wait until the last minute, is going to be bad for everybody. Well, and with the food, half the time you can't find items. So maybe stock up on the pantry items ahead of time. Yeah when you have the money to, to do that. And the thing is like we spend more than like $500 to a thousand, you know? So it is something that uh, we have to plan in. The thing is like only 39% uh, of the people in average, they use the money aside. Oh, there's this credit card, like you said. Mm -hmm. And now that we have that buy now and pay later. It's trouble. Or people uh, uh, lo uh, asking loans for the families or friends, which is not a good idea. Oh, yeah. So all that we want to, uh, for you to have is a peace of mind that when the Happy New Year comes, it's really happy. Yes. And so all that you have <laughs> to do is like see how you are standing financially. Uh, so the income and expenses that are balancing. And you say it's important to put a list of who exactly you want to gift to. Exactly. Because if you don't have a plan set in stone, that's where the trouble comes. In assigning a realistic amount of money mm -hmm. <laughs> and stick to it. That's a problem. Sometimes yeah. we are like keep playing with that money and then at the end we are not in good stand. And it is something that uh, we have to really pay attention now. You have time now. Mm -hmm. You can uh, give those gifts like the traditional ones, but you can also buy things to create something new. Like right. if your child likes to cook, bring just buy a bowl that he's going to use and a recipe and ingredients and that is something that for sure is going to be used. That's such a good idea. I love it because my son wants to go to culinary school. I'm there gonna, you go. I'm going to take that. I hope he's not watching. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Liz, for being on. Really great advice and helpful. We just got to follow it. Yes. <laughs> we'll be right back.